company Elumelu Foundation announced TEEP 2016, the second annual round of the $100 million Tony Elumelu Entrepreneurship Program aimed at supporting emerging entrepreneurs across Africa over a 10-year period. This initiative aims to generate $10 billion in revenue for the continent and 1 million jobs. TEEP CEO Parminda Vera joins us in studio. It's great to have you with us, uh, Parminda. Now, I'd like you to start with us um, this way by telling us exactly what was achieved. Obviously, this is the second year that you're sure. running this program. So what was achieved in 2015, first well, of all? What was achieved was beyond our expectations. We received 20,000 applications from 52 African countries. We selected 1,000, and the 1,000 was selected on, based on our theme, which was your idea can transform Africa. Mm -hmm. So they were selected for their transformative ideas. Mm -hmm. yeah? And then they went through a 12-week training program. They were mentored, assigned mentors, um, and, and also built the most phenomenal network. We brought them together in Lagos in July, all 1,000 of them. Um, to really for a three-day boot camp, as mm -hmm. we called it. And then we followed it up with funding, um, $5,000 each, seed capital, so that they can continue to develop and build their businesses. Mm -hmm. So we achieved, we achieved what we set out to do, which was that we would empower and train and mentor 1,000 entrepreneurs per year, and we hit our target. Mm -hmm. And in January, on the, on the 1st of January 2016, we opened the portal for the second, yeah. second cycle. And how does that one differ from the first one? It doesn't. It just builds on the first one. So mm -hmm. we already have 1,000 entrepreneurs who can now talk about their experiences of being on the program. So if you go on social media, whether on our you know, Twitter, on, on Facebook, on LinkedIn, you are able, and, and obviously on our website, you are able to read the testimonials from the previous 1,000. So the new applicants, and it's only, we only opened the 1st of January, mm. remember? And we've already got 19,000 oh, wow. um, applications. <laughs> and applicants this closes end of, end of March, right? It, no, it closes on the 29th of February. Of February. So oh. the response, so the TEEP story, if this, was a, if this was a feature film, it would be up for an Oscar. Mm. That's <laughs> how big the Tony Illumino Entrepreneurship Program has become and how much it's touched and brought Africa together as a continent, 54 yeah. African countries, French, Portuguese, Portuguese, and English, and we have entrepreneurs from every single mm. one of those and countries. And for those who would like to take part in uh, TEEP 2016, what do they have to do now? It's very easy. You have to go through, you have to fill out an application form, and the application form can be found on our website, which is www.tonyolumulufoundation.org slash TEEP. All the information that you require in filling out that application is there. You know, it's really great to see the private uh, sector making moves, you know, to support SMEs. Uh, a lot of people feel that the government needs to do more. Uh, what would you like to see the government do in regards to uh, support for um, entrepreneurs? No, it's interesting because we asked our entrepreneurs last year in July when they came to the boot camp, what are the impediments to your growth as entrepreneurs? What is it that, you know, that stands in your way? What are some of the obstacles and, and you know, who can alleviate those impediments, and we produced a, a report unleashing Africa's entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. you know, creating an enabling environment. There's so much um, the government can do, and it doesn't require money all the time. But there's a lot around regulation, you know, around infrastructure, um, cap access to capital, mm -hmm. training. I mean, you know, mentor um, entrepreneurs need constant training. Yeah. Um, you know, so those are all the these are things that are within the power of the government and policymakers mm -hmm. to do. And we are producing, we're using the fact that we have access to a phenomenal database of entrepreneurs who can tell, you know, what are their own challenges. And they can also propose solutions. You know, it takes, in some countries, it takes six months to register a company, mm. while in others, it's a one-stop shop. You should not, I as an entrepreneur, should not have to spend my time you know, going through the bureaucracy to just register my company yeah. when I should be focusing on developing the most in innovative, creative product or service that I want to develop for a customer or mm -hmm. a client, yeah? And so it's, very, it's certainly very difficult times that we're in right now. You know, when you look at, you know, the macro outlook, you know, even you know, established businesses are finding it difficult, you know, forex restrictions, all sorts of things. Uh, how do startups survive in the new realities that we're facing? The nice, the thing about being a startup is you know you're taking a huge risk, right? Um, so it is some, there is a fire in your belly about your product or service that you think there is a market opportunity for that. 
So I'd say that, you know, that startups are already taking a huge risk by saying, I'm not going to be a job seeker, I'm going to be a job creator. Mm -hmm. And they also see in this time of austerity, in this time of, you know, de market decline, there's, they also, where people see challenges, they also see opportunities. And yes, it's, it's tough time to do it to a startup, but I know as an entrepreneur, I seem to have started all my businesses at times when the markets were down. And it is, it is the time when there is the greatest opportunity. And, and if you've got the right idea and, and that meets the needs of your customers, I believe now is the time to, to launch businesses. And programs like the Tony Illumino Entrepreneurship Program is really designed to provide a, a framework and an infrastructure through which we can at least support some entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. What I'm sure Mr. Tony Illumilu and, and we as the foundation would like to see is other people, individuals, private sector as well as government, take the framework that we've created through the Tony Illumilu Entrepreneurship Program and literally replicate it everywhere. You know, we can, we've, done, we've got the training, we've got the mentoring, we've got a framework that is transportable. And that's what we, you know, and that way that mm. you are actually adding to the 1,000. Yes, we're doing 1,000 a year. Imagine if we could do 10,000 yeah. a year. Yeah. It would be phenomenal. Parminda, and we have that framework. Thanks so much for joining us in Thank studio you. today. Parminda Ver is CEO of the Tony Elumelu Entrepreneurship Program.